everybody this is tina with loving life's little blessings that is my website and you can get to that by just clicking right up here in the corner or down below in the youtube description there is a link to my coordinating blog post today is memory keeping friday so welcome i hope that you are um, planning on doing some memory keeping this weekend i have some supplies sitting out here that you can see i have some 12 by 12 designer paper i even have a cricut cartridge i'm thinking about using and then i have some photos of violet and even some project life cards. So I am planning on sitting down and trying to figure out maybe a little something to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to do a combination of a traditional page with a project life page or if I'm just going to do a straight project uh, 12 by 12 traditional page. I'm not sure but I wanted to show you guys what I pulled out. Um, I pulled this paper right here. This designer paper is current designer paper that is in the Stampin' Up! Uh, annual catalog. I know there's a lot I'm using a lot of things out of the holiday catalog right now but this is actually out of the annual catalog and it's this really cool paper it's like I thought it really reminded me of like school paper and these photos uh, it, these are a violet's orientation for kindergarten and so I wanted something with that school feel so I grabbed this and then I actually wanted to pair it with Bermuda Bay and I didn't have a 12 by 12 piece of Bermuda Bay. All I had was the six by six and let me turn on some lights so you guys can see a little bit better the colors and so I pulled those out but I went through all my retired paper and I found this striped piece that is Bermuda Bay and I thought well I could probably work both of these in and then these project life cards that I have sitting here these are from Becky Higgins and they are the childhood kit uh they're like the mini themed kits i guess i don't even know if she still has it i'll link it on my website if i can find it uh, these are just some old cards i had and so i pulled out some that had pink because violet's wearing a pink dress in there and then i'm not sure i'm going to use all of them but i just pulled out some that i thought sort of coordinated with these colors and then we'll see what I come up with to put together. So I'll be back to share with you guys what I'm doing. All right guys, I'm back to share with you guys where I'm at. So I really am just, I really wanted to do a traditional page for these memories and I don't really want to cut down the photos. These are kind of the photos that I've narrowed down. These right here that you see and then these right here so i don't really have enough to do a project life like pocketed page uh, and so i think i'm going to do two 12 by 12 just traditional layouts like this but i think they're going to be front to back so instead of planning my layout side by side like this and making them go together I'm basically doing two separate layouts and then they'll be back to back and they'll go in one 12 by 12 page protector right in the middle of uh, her month. It'll be August is when she had her um, orientation. So I had pulled out all this product and I had this card that said little moments, big memories, and it was a three by four card. And so what I've done is I've kind of switched up the colors. I told you I was thought I was going to use that Bermuda Bay. It just really wasn't working. The cards that I chose, I just chose this memories and then this one, and it had a little bit of red. So I thought, well, let's go with the red. And so I pulled out this is a polka dot piece and then a piece of regular cardstock that's cherry cobbler and then I got some a retired color and it is coastal cabana and it was an in color a couple years ago I'm going to use that ink pad in fact and I felt like that's what went with it best and then I also pulled out I just happened to have some smoky slate 12 by 12 cardstock so I pulled that out to do to use it as a base and then you can see I'm kind of playing around on my breakfast here because I'm hungry and I uh, have some letter stickers that I've been playing with and then the other thing I think I'm going to use is this stamp set here the six-sided sampler I really want to incorporate this Cricut cartridge I am just itching to use my Cricut I'm missing it so much and really wanting to use it but I don't know if any of these images will really work I don't know. I'm going to leave it out and I'm going to see 
I don't want it to be too much, but I just have these letters on some wax paper because I was trying to figure out if they would work. These letter stickers are really small. And if you guys have been following me for very long, you know, I have a love hate relationship with letter stickers. I feel like you get about three or four words out of a letter sticker sheet. And then you have all these letters left over, you know, you have all the random letters but these actually come in I think these came in a project life kit and so I had them and I had two sheets of the um, letters which was really nice because I was able to do you see I was able to actually get little moments if I had only had one sheet I wouldn't have been able to do that so I think it's okay the proportions are okay so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some stamping and use the six-sided sampler then I have some scraps of this Coastal Cabana that I'm going to use. And then we're going to see how it works. And then I might even do the Cricut cartridge. I might cut some stuff. So this is how far I've gotten. I will be back to share with you guys the next step. Hi, guys. I'm back. And I've put the layout together. Um, I did go ahead and I used my six-sided sampler and then the punch that goes with it, which is around here somewhere, right here. So I used these two things. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit a Cricut image. I was thinking that these cute little scissors, there's those or those, like might look cute right here, but I don't know. Like then I feel like, or maybe right here. I don't know. I'm not sure what else, maybe the pencil, but I don't know. I'm liking the way it looks right now. Let me show you what I did. I added this little paper clip heart on here, on the corner of that. I stamped these and then punched them out and I just put them, I did Coastal Cabana and then Cherry Cobbler and then Coastal Cabana. And um, I put these on dimensionals. I did the little moments and I added a little tiny heart. This is from Simon Says dies these little tiny tiny hearts i don't know christina warner uses them all the time that's actually uh why i got them and she uses them all the time on her cards so i'm adding a little wink of stella uh to the little red heart and i'm loving that and then it says little moments and then big memories i tucked the big memories under the page and i cut the big out and then it's just all flat and then down here i punched out uh just three cherry cobbler um, from my six-sided sampler punch this punch i ran them through my cuddle bug or not my cuddle bug hello cricket cuddle bug that's what's going on in my head i ran it through my big shot but i used this embossing folder that i haven't used in forever and then i just added these flowers with this little punch right here it's one i use all the time you guys um maybe i should have put a red flower up here instead of a heart I just thought of that and then I used some tiny silver brads to stick through there and then these are on dimensional so there's some dimension to them like that and then I just sprinkled some rhinestones so I have three rhinestones there I have a rhinestone there and then I have three rhinestones up here so now I have these other photos and I'm thinking about doing one of two things either just making the other side with these photos and doing something like maybe even just like putting them down in like a project lifestyle maybe something like this and then not like doing a ton to it uh, just doing the journaling or i'm thinking about doing a six by twelve insert so then you would open so this is how it would go you would open this and then this part would be blank and then there would be a six by 12 pocket and then these photos would be on here and i would use the same designer paper and the same feel but then what i could put on the back of here would be like this name tag and maybe some of her first uh things from her school or maybe her name tag oh no what is there oh man look at that look what i did Oh, real life moment, you guys. So I got ink right on my page because this was sitting on my desk and I didn't clean it. Always clean your stamps. That's okay. 
um, maybe I'll, I'll don't, I don't know, I'll figure something out for that. But, so that's what I'm thinking, that maybe on the back of this, then maybe some of her, maybe her name tag, I think I have her name tag already, I think they sent it home. Uh, so I thought maybe some of her little mementos from uh, the first couple days of school could go in the back of that. So I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna think about it and then I'll come back and share with you guys what I decided. Hi guys, I'm back with the finished, uh, everything's finished. So I managed to just scrape off that, you can see right there, I scraped off that ink and it's okay. I mean, you can tell that there's a little something happening right there, but that's okay. So for this, I just, I still have the little heart. I didn't add anything else. Well, I did add this little gray heart. So I got carried away with these hearts. I got this die set out and I really got carried away. So what I decided to do is go ahead and on the back here, I just added some of her uh, little mementos from school, some of her first day stuff. And then I think I'll get this at the end of the year, or I might already have it in her album. I should check. Um, it might be in her pocket in the back, but I think I might end up with this or I already have it. And if I do, I would love to stick that right in the back here. So then I went ahead and did a six by 12. And so when the page opens up, this is how it'll look. So this will be together like this. I just used the smoky slate. So it would just kind of coordinate with that. We'll, I'll bring you up close so you can see. I did these with the punch. And then you can see I used more of the heart dies. And then right there, this was written on the whiteboard when we came in and I took a photo of that. That's a great tip that I have for you guys is to not only take photos of what's happening, the kid or your kid or the event, but really step back and try to take some photos of things that are meaningful that's happening around the situation and then this I stood way back like I went to the other side of the room and I took a photo so that I could get the other kids and the other parents and her teacher and just how she was in her environment instead of just standing right with her and taking a photo I really wanted the environment so I just added some of the designer paper down here just to kind of pull it all together and coordinate it and then you flip it over and then I just added Added these two photos so even though I'm just using a solid piece of cardstock you can see that I just put the photos in right as if they were like in pockets so that makes it easy and then I used some more of those dies and punched some flowers and added some rhinestones and all journal right there I didn't get a chance to use my Cricut I was kind of bummed I probably could put something here or something there but I just wanted to keep it simple and I really felt like this moment for Violet was really worth doing a 12 by 12 traditional page and really highlighting this for her and that's how I like to scrapbook I like staying up to date and keeping current and doing my project life I love the pocketed method and being able to stay current and feel like I have a handle on it but there are definitely moments like this that I like to pull out all this product and dive in I just had a really good time taking a couple hours and putting a page together that highlights a really big moment for Violet. A lot of you guys know that Violet was diagnosed with autism and this is her very first year in school. She's in kindergarten and it's been very, it's been a big, big year for us. It's been really emotional for me. She's doing amazing. I just had her very first IEP, which is Individual Education Plan, and everybody that was involved, there was about 13 people that were involved between her teacher and the principal and the speech therapist and different people that are working with her, and they all said she's doing really amazing. She's doing a great job in her class, and I don't want to get emotional and start crying at the end of this video, but I'm just very proud of her and I really want to highlight this moment for her and I'm going to do some journaling to her and just let her know um, just how big 
uh, how big this has been for us this year and how proud we are of how well she's doing. So I'll have photos on my coordinating blog post. You can just click up in the corner to get to that and then uh, you can see the photo of that. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I'll be back next week with more Christmas uh, cards. I'm diving in and doing that. So we'll be doing that next week. So thanks guys. Have a great day. Hi everybody. Thanks again for hanging out with me today. I have two other videos you guys can check out. I have the lighthearted leaves fall shaker card. And even though I said I was going to jump into more Christmas cards next week, I think I will be doing one more set of fall cards for Thanksgiving. And then the other video I have for you guys uh, that's just the kids' treat bags that I did. They actually got to take those to school today. So I did that one, and I did a box one for Kayla, and you can check that video out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back next week. Have a great day, guys.